Humberto Santillan isn't in the position to use his legs right now because of an accident he said he had at work. But the unemployed injured man uses them often to get himself to and from the open door clinic. It was painful walk. Painful and uh, it worsens my, when I walk it worsens my uh, swollen, swollen more and uh, give me more trouble. And his trouble is shared by many in Burlington the largest city in North Carolina without a bus system. Everywhere that I go, there is public transportation. I don't know what's wrong here. According to the 2011 Alamance County Community Assessment, the lack of public transportation is the reason for a lot of what is wrong here by not giving people access to education, health services, and employment. City Councilman Steve Ross says he knows the need is there, but as always, the problem is money. It's quite expensive, and we recognize as you go as we go forward that uh, some of the funding sources that are there now are probably going to go away in the future. But not going anywhere are the cities and towns surrounding Burlington that would almost have to be part of a successful bus route. Because of these outlying communities, Ross says he hopes the county government will step up and help out. But County Commissioner Tom Manning says that talks have to start within the city of Burlington for a bus route to get moving. Sure, we would be a part of this but I'm not sure what relative roles the county would take in relation to municipalities until we see how much it would cost. Is, is there interest and support from the municipal governments to get that done? I'm sitting in the Allied Church's parking lot. It's an organization that offers services to the people who need them most. One of them is transportation. The van I'm in right now has been running all day, taking people to the hospital, community college, or the courthouse here in Graham. For them, public transportation isn't just a budget issue between the city and the county, but a problem they must face every day. It would be easier for me not having a car to have that bus, because that was convenient for me in Hillsboro. It is not no public transportation around here, but if it wasn't for um, me being at Allied Churches and those who donated the transportation to Allied Churches, you know, I wouldn't be doing nothing. I'll probably be doing the same old thing again, mm -hmm. going back and forth out of jail. The shelter van dropped me there, and I had to walk from uh, the, mm -hmm. the open door clinic to here, to the shelter, and uh, there was no problem with transportation, and uh, it worsened my situation. City of Burlington officials will be meeting here at the Cronodal Senior Center this Friday to discuss the possibility of bringing public transportation to Burlington, among other issues. But Councilman Steve Ross said that at this time, it's not priority number one. David Hodges, Phoenix 14 News.